At this point, I just have to ask myself, do I really have to say anything? Because y'all obviously know what day it is. That's right, snap on Friday. There's Hamilton, so let's see what he's got. You guys, come on. Well, it's that time of the week. Finally. Finally. Finally Friday. Friday. That's the best day of the week, because you know why? Tomorrow's Saturday. We don't have to work. That's what you say, because you're the snap-on guy. But we say because it's snap-on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I just didn't have to work on Saturday, it'd be a good thing, but... You don't work on Saturday. You barely work on Fridays. What you talking about? I wish I didn't have to work no days. I'm, I'm counting down them days to retire. I got a calendar. You know, I still got 97 years to go, but I'm walking them down one day at a time, though. <laughs> tell everybody what your Friday schedule looks like. Like, And be honest. Tell the truth. Don't fudge it now. I, I'm a pretty consistent person in everything I do. I try to have, I like, I guess my wife said men get in a rut, and that's what they like to be in, like to be comfortable, you know? <laughs> So Friday, I leave the house later on Friday than I normally do. 7.45, 8, 8.30, just depends, you know. Of course, every day with this fuel guzzling sucker, you got to go, first thing you do, go to the store and fill up. Some Fridays I don't because I still got a half tank, but <laughs> it's a habit, so I do that. Then we go to City Cafe in Baldwin and eat breakfast. Got to go get an omelet, hash brown toast <laughs> with a tea or Dr. Pepper, whatever you want. And of course, then that's why the old people are. That's why my wife and I are tired. I don't want to work. I just want to go eat, drink go, coffee. Go sit at the coffee shop all day. Yeah, right. I don't even drink coffee. I, I hate the taste of coffee. Coffee smells great, but I don't <laughs> drink coffee. But I go sit with all the old people, and I, I'll sit there and bust their balls over all kinds of stuff. And hell, most of them, they slicker than I am, you know. <laughs> they be busting mine over all kinds of stuff. <laughs> But then Friday, I probably don't hit uh, maybe six or seven shops at the most. Tell them why you can't go to very many shops on Friday. Because we, we will. It's not past us to have a, a three-hour lunch with a couple pictures of Michelob Ultra. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, they have. I'm, this I'm, is just kidding, Snap-on yeah. Corporate. Don't be Playing angry. Playing around. Just joking. Just a joke. We do have one beer on Friday. Yeah, at a time. That's it. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, so we, Fridays is usually my slowest, my busiest money making day because I run a lot of cars. Everybody's like, run my car on Friday, run my car on Friday. Uh, some, some snap on guys don't do that. They might get a lesser payment on the Tuesday or something. But if you only run your car on Friday for your regular payment or more, right? By God, I run your car on Friday. I don't care. It's, I mean, it ain't it's no all about the me. money. Yeah. It? As long as you make a full payment, we'll get it. That's it. But yeah, so I hit like two or three big shots before lunch, then come over here for half a day, and I might hit one or two on the way home. I might hit one or two on the way and home. And we always blame it on the video. Yeah, like, but the it video takes four easy. hours to shoot a 18-minute video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you got to take a lot of hydration breaks in between. Yeah, no doubt. And that's what a lot of people ask, like, well, i seen you at clay shop over there for two or three hours like i wasn't there for like maybe an hour you know mm. no you truck was there for three hours like no we was eating lunch for a couple hours yeah you know like i promise i wasn't there for about we an get, hour we so. get treated special at our restaurant because we always go to the same restaurant yep oh yeah they love us so. up there we got we we got to have the best waiter in the world yep he's good he's good and yeah he's very good good dude good service you can't beat it so that's what kind of what we're planning on the meetup the night of the 28th i think we're going we go up here to to hamilton to casa 
And uh, <laughs> we lined some they, details out today trying to get that planned ahead of time. Yeah, Hamilton explained to him, them what they need to do. Like, you can let the cooks go right after we order. Yeah, because they said the cooks used to go home between 9.30 and 10.30, depending on the people. But they have been there until 10.30, maybe 11 sometimes. Mm -hmm. So we, we, I mean, we made it clear that we might not leave till 2 in the morning. Yeah. You know, and they, they're like, cool, we're good with that. You Hamilton know? said, just keep the pictures coming. And, uh, and we we'll let you know when rolling. to stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they was good with it, so we got that lined out. We ready to go. Yep. So the guys that is coming for the meetup, you're eating Mexican food. And one of y'all got to buy mine, and then somebody else got to buy Clay's and Shiloh's for them. <laughs> everybody may look at you and be like, man, people will just throw money at you. You didn't buy everybody's. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. <laughs> What new and exciting things she got that people can't live without this week? I ah, was just uh, rolling on, just finally starting to get little things in here and there. Getting a couple boxes. Finally got a bunch of stream lights in out of all things. But if y'all know how hard it's been getting stream lights for us, mm. I'm glad we got a bunch of them. Well, uh, everybody, COVID, COVID kept them from making stream lights. I, or I think kept UPS on more than anything. Yep. I get some like saying got a couple impacts in. Of course, then that calls to trade ins. Uh oh. Trade ins is a good thing though. Oh yeah, I love trade ins. Like especially people that's looking for bargains. Trade ins is a good. Thing. I don't know much about the Mac impact, but it worked and everything. He had the air bit in it. We tried it out. We're sending trading trade in the MG three twenty five. Oh really? They got an electric one then. This Them is like, MG325s are dang this is good impact. This a bad dude. This is actually a guy that he moved here from out of state. So we uh, we traded these two in. This is a pretty fairly new impact. Cool. They got some electric ones. Good prices on them? Oh, yeah. Like good enough we can talk about or is this like double top secret? I don't know. Let's sell this one right here for 250 They're 500 brand That's new. This is deal. a 20 model. Wow. Of course, Snap-on puts the years on the, in the serial numbers for people that don't know. The first two is the year that they was created. Right. So, so that, that tells you how new Brand it new. Is. Yeah. Well, not brand new, but fairly brand old. new. Yeah. Now, I don't know how Mac does theirs. I ain't got a clue. Mm -hmm. so I have no clue. I don't even see a serial number on here. Oh, there it is at the back. I don't know if they date them like that or not. AWP 284Q. I'm going to have to look it up. I don't even know no specs or anything on it. But it's small, though. Yeah. It's lightweight. How much is the Mac impact? Do 75 on it. That's cheap. Somebody needs to buy that. You still got the old Mac code trade-in laying up there. I with can't a, believe that. These are some good impacts. With a sparkle coating on it. I'm going to tell you, the 2779 is a good impact. It really is. This is the 1769. I don't know nothing about it. I think these are, well, they're still getting them made by Ingersoll Rand. I think they're made by somebody else now. I can't remember who it is right offhand. But I'm pretty sure these were the Ingersoll Rand ones. I got so mad at you over that damn impact, I couldn't see. Not really you. I was mad at Thomas. Because remember one? when they come out, I seen the post and I sent you a message. And it was like 10 o'clock at night. I'm like, Order me one of these NG oh, 725. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. And you said, okay, got it coming. And then like three weeks went by. I'm like, where's my impact? It's shipping this week. And then that darn turd head. Yeah, I got I two of them in. I his head off. I got so aggravated about that. Yeah. That's and why I, I bought the Matco impact. I didn't know it until we got here that day because I put yours down here. I had the row card over. I remember it. In the cardboard box. And I, which Thomas is a good boy. I like Thomas. I'd do anything in the world to help him out. Would like to choke him every now and then, but <laughs> he's a. I could call Thomas today, tell him I got a flat tire. He'd come out here and change yeah, it for me when asked no questions. Boy. And, uh, but yeah, he uh, he pulled the impact out of it, sold the impact at another shop, same day. Well, I wasn't even on the truck and put the top back on the box. And, uh, yeah, I, I was aggravated him. about that. I'm like, I'm the one that found out they're coming back out with Yeah, that was the MG 725 A's, the new model one. Yeah, I didn't get one. I was pissed at Thomas. Boy, I was pissed. I got on the Matco truck and he had them half inch up. I said, I'm going to take one of them right there. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, when we left here, we, uh, <laughs> Thomas had a long ride back to the shop that day. I was so dead gum aggravated over that. Knocking the bungee cord off. Yeah, Thomas had a long ride back to the shop that day. <laughs> I was. Because yeah, we waited for like a month to get that thing in. You remember when Thomas, the first day Thomas was on the truck? Oh, yeah. We did the video. Everybody hated Thomas. Oh, I had people threatening me on Facebook. Sending me text messages on Messenger, was gonna whoop me for hiring Thomas, <laughs> hoping my house would burn to the ground with my family in it and all kinds of stuff. It was bad, I mean, wasn't it? Yeah. And then when Thomas left, everybody was crying because Thomas was gone. Yeah, that's, I mean, I told, I messaged a bunch of them up for probably two weeks, like, look, the boy is young. He's very green. He has not been very far off his mama's tit. So yeah. you gotta give him a break. We'll break him in. I tell you, he was a good hearted kid, though. He really oh, yeah. was. And that's what, I don't think the boy's ever said a cuss word in his life. I mean, he want, everything he wants to do, he wants to do right. Now he liked I mean, them, them girly britches now. He did like them, yeah. He liked I them, give him heck over that. fancy girly britches. Yeah, I give him heck over that. I tell you what, I'd hate to tangle with that, that rascal. That boy right there is stout. Yeah, he's a good kid. He helped me, well, I brought him in on Saturday, him and a buddy of his. Which another young boy, Sean, which he wore them damn girly britches too. <laughs> I don't know what it is. For those of y'all that don't know what we're talking about, it's the it's the the britches with the back pocket that's yeah, got they all had the all kind of design. You know, instead of just thick. having the regular stitching like them, like it's got this. the that'd be real bold and yeah, wide. the fancy stitching down the leg. Kiss and, me jeans, I think what yeah. they call them, ain't it? Miss me jeans. Yeah, miss yeah. me jeans. Yeah. yeah, and uh, but I tell you, I like I got him and the buddy of his come help me. I got a long, you've been in my house, I got a long mm. driveway. And uh, I ordered, I can't even remember, probably 60 or 70 railroad ties. And of course, I mean, I got a tractor, front end loader, so I put the forks on and stuff. I was gonna move them around. And next thing I know, these boys are picking them up off the trailer, toting them to where they're supposed to go and stuff. <laughs> if y'all wanna work that hard, by God, y'all work that hard. <laughs> I got a tractor, you know? Yeah. And, uh, but. I mean, him and his buddy was grabbing rail ties and toting them. I tell you what, I think that boy, I don't think he'd ever turn his back against anybody to help him, you know. No. He, he's a good kid. I would, yeah, I'd hate to piss him off and him have to put his hands on me. Now, I was a little aggravated the first time I got on the truck. Cause, son. Son. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's kind of like an emery board, you know. He'll rub you the wrong way if you don't know how to use him. <laughs> <laughs> but he was a good kid like I do miss him and it was cool that time he come by here and visited with us you know I wish yeah. we would have got that on video because a lot of people's asked where Thomas was at so. yeah yeah everybody, he's probably uh, married now ain't he uh he's getting close Ben. he was uh I, he texted me the other day asked about a uh, address so he sent a wedding invitation too oh yeah yeah he's getting married he uh the, some girl from his church and of course, I, I give her heck, and I called her Super Freak. She was a band girl in high school, and I guess she still does some type of band stuff. I don't know. But I'd always tell myself, yeah, them, them kids in high school, them band members, them, them Super Freak kids. But y'all was here that one time at band camp and yeah. stuff. Of course, he thought that was hilarious. <laughs> and we'd eat, we'd eat lunch every day somewhere. Yeah. And that's what uh, she come to eat with us a few times. And of course, he told her that without embarrass me. <laughs> and... Uh, but she thought it was hilarious. So every time I talked to her, every time oh, I seen her, man, I called her. I wanted freak. to crawl under the table. Yeah, I mean, I was like, I can't believe you told her that. I mean, <laughs> that's supposed to be guy talk, you know? That's right. You can't break and that then, code. Uh -uh. But yeah, she thought it was hilarious. So now every time I see him, I call him Super Freak. So I said, Old Thomas and Super Freak. So <laughs> both of them just die out laughing. They think it's hilarious. Yeah. So he's going to, he was going to be a football coach, right? And then. Yeah, he's wanting to go to be Changed a school teacher and a football coach. But I think his wife or fiance is going to be a school teacher. And he said that he was going to change because two school salaries would be tough to make it on. It would be. And that's what, I mean, I, I told him, you know, I'm all for it. If you want to do, I didn't go to college. Mm -hmm. I barely finished high school, luckily. But I wouldn't go to college to do something that's going to cost me more in college than what I'm going to be making in a year. Yeah. And that's what I told him. I said, don't go to college. It's going to cost you $40,000 in education. Now, it is a good job because you have to think they're off all summer. Yeah. You know. Yep. Well, they're off half the year. 
I know it's funny. I got a niece that's a teacher, you know, she fussed about having to buy markers and all. I said, bless your soul. Yeah. I said, bless your sweet soul. Walmart sells your equipment you need. That's who sells the equipment. You we see them <laughs> memes on Facebook where it shows like the uh, teachers talking about having to buy yeah. stuff and then the mechanics inside the toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Now, granted, the salaries could be a little bit different, I'm sure, mm. sure but All still, I can uh, say is when you boil all the meat off the bone, I guarantee you less than one week's payment would buy a lot of damn markers. <laughs> yeah. We got some... I, I probably half a dozen of our friends or wives are school teachers yeah. and that's what they I mean it takes a special type of it, the person I to be do that man if I was God, a school teacher kids would get on my freaking nerves so bad I'd have to be like kindergarten or first grade you know I'd like, be the teacher that's sitting there pouring whiskey in a coffee cup like I wouldn't even put yeah. no coffee in it <laughs> you know, like, well you know now you can get that moonshine that tastes like coffee so you walk <laughs> into school with two yetis What's the, that's my coffee yeah, one day full of the moonshine and the little I'd be like, man, he's in a good mood every day. It's kind of funny. I wonder what his secret is, <laughs> if y'all only knew. Now, I'm not going to have a liver by the time I get retirement age. <laughs> <laughs> Life bill with by the time you already retire at 45. That's it. <coughs> yeah, school teachers get retired early. Of course, I mean, it takes a special type of person to be a school teacher. It does. Not for me. I don't even like my own kids, much less 25 <laughs> other people's kids. <laughs> Boy, you gonna burn in hell for saying that. <laughs> I tell them that all the time. That's what... <laughs> oh my goodness. You gotta, all right. You gotta watch them kids now. Well, I guess I'm gonna make my payment and we're gonna get back in here and get after it. You'll do some more work. I, if I can get done early today, I'm going home. Me too. I gotta go. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going home. That's for sure. <laughs> All right, guys, like always, thanks for hanging out with us. Now you see what he has to go through on Fridays. It's a terrible life. <laughs> Ride around, <laughs> visit with folks, drink some beer, run some credit cards, and go home. That's that the life easy. of a Snap-on man. That's why it's better than ice cream truck. They don't even take credit cards. I wear this every Friday, just so people remember. <laughs> All right, guys, y'all have a great one. Like always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes in the video description. If you're not subscribed, you take your finger and you click the button. You just It's that easy. Just press that, that button easy. and you're in the Cool Kids Club. Hit that bell. You guys have a great week. See ya.